If I can put this mark somewhere that I can. Okay, I'll just hold it. <sighs> Alright, so today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna head out to Alon's house and help him out with his hands when he builds. So we gotta get this quick jack into the truck. And we'll be out it's about 6 a.m. in the morning. Let's get to work. This, this hood, this multi-purpose hood. This hood is a multi-purpose hood, my friends. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this truck around. Quick jack in the truck, and we will be on our way. <sighs> oh boy. Horse is tangled. Okay, so that's not in the way. All right. She could have got a rabbit from one side. Yeah. And uh, we'll go grab the other one and hit the road. Oh, okay, so we made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. We got quick jacks on the floor. Juan, what's up? <laughs> and uh, let's check out the engine really quick. I'm going to change too. I need to change. Okay. Wow, that looks clean. Yeah. 
And 20, huh? Yeah. So we have the hard, hard cover. And since we still have to do timing chains, so there was no need to put, put the screw on this one. So yeah. once we get that one out, then we get it open. We put the open here, and then we can do the, the timing change. And then it goes up everything. Okay, nice. Pretty much everything here is new, re refined, re what they call it, remanufactured. Yeah. Yeah. I, I use I use the OEM cams. Uh huh. Um, this one I painted them <laughs> just to make it look okay, nice. Okay, just to make it look nice. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay, so. uh, if you look at the OEM, it just get dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got new valves. Um, new lifters, a lot of new stuff here. Yeah, yeah, that was good. And, and this one, these are the I think they're calling it like they're just supporters, spring supporters, but mm -hmm. they call it wheels. Okay, nice. All right, guys, so um, the E46 is fixed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that pilot. The E46 is fixed. Um, there was a wire that was disconnected. Uh, in my previous video, I haven't had time to work on the E46 as much, but in my previous video, the E46 underneath of it, it was the video when I did, uh, when I changed out the, um, the fuel regulator and the fuel filter. In that video, I saw there was a wire that was frayed that went from the, um, Transmission uh, to I forget where. It was that wire that was causing a problem. Looked like a rat chewed it or just somebody pulled it. So, but the E46 is working now. I'm just gonna get back to work on, you know, doing some more of the maintenance stuff. I don't know if I want to mod that car. I like it the way it is. I'll just do a little bit cosmetics to it, and that's about it. But uh, we're still waiting to do a tune on the 335i. But for now, we gotta work. We got a lot of work. We're gonna remove the bumper and then remove the crash bar and we'll be removing the engine out of the car. All right, so we're making some progress, not that much. We got our tape for labeling stuff in case we get lost in the sauce but he's done some pretty good work on this car yes and let's make things easier we're just removing the radiator but now we have to drain fluids and stuff like that. Oh, you still 25 for this one. Okay. Now. See that? Oh, easy peasy. Yeah, it's very easy. You don't need to remove. Uh, Where is the screwdriver that you gave me? You need to release this from the top. Oops. Ooh, that's a lot of dirt. I know. <laughs> Yeah. You need to upgrade that, buddy. Sit down here with a... This engine yeah, has I'm so much space. <sighs> See that? Yep. That's how easy it is. Very, you're gonna have, you're gonna have... Very you, tiny intercooler. You need to upgrade that <laughs> intercooler. <laughs> you definitely need to upgrade that. That's 
too small, buddy. Okay. Oh, we gotta get this off. I'm trying to get as much of it as I possibly can. You say? I'm trying to get as much of it in here as I possibly can. Okay, we are making it boys. We have just to remove the crash bar. Still got some radiator fluid draining. It's gonna go one, two, and then three. I'll remove this one, same thing on the opposite side. And then we'll just pull the whole thing out. Which will give us clearance. Start removing some of these coolant hoses and stuff like that. I need to take a break. I'm hungry. Oh yeah, no! It's about to start raining on us, so we're trying to hurry up really quick and remove the uh, crash ball and everything else out. Just bring the whole thing out. And good thing is we didn't remove the hood, so we can cover it before it rains, and then we can get back to work on it. Um, hell, we might even come back out here in the rain, right? I don't like Um, oh boy. Yep, we just gotta keep on. There it goes. Hold on. Hold on, right here. This is, uh, clipped in. There's another one right here, zip tied. No, that's not just the only thing. This is not the only thing. Okay. Hang on. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not pulling. Sensor. Oop. What's that? Okay. Sensor is that? Let me see if I can get it from the bottom. No. Okay. Oh, is it? Was it held on by? So you had to remove them anyway, huh? Space for us. Okay, how's that look? You should drive it like that. No, no bumper. Let's keep mm. everything together. I'm gonna keep put this light right here. Okay, so smoke coolant. <clears throat> Hold on. Still have some stuff to disconnect over here. Okay. Okay, 
hammering out that one little piece. Nice. Oh. Might as well just, we're still connected to something. Still filled with coolant. We have to like. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of space now. All right. This is way better. And let's take on the way. Put it aside. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Get out of the way. I guess so. Uh... All right, I'm gonna start working on removing this exhaust. Oh, too big for his. Let's get in here. Remove this exhaust brace, and it's going to be a T50 to remove these. Nice. Thank you. Okay. We gotta get these two on this side and the brace shit on that. This one is bigger. I gotta get another one. I'm gonna take this brace off. Is this not dedication? We are out here in the ring, boys. I'm gonna finish getting this exhaust off and uh, I might have to wrap things up because it's beginning to come down a little bit harder. So um, I'll be back tomorrow to finish this. But first I wanna drop this exhaust. <laughs> 